Absolutely delighted now to be joined uh, by Robin Engel, and we're going to be talking about the uh, use of force. Robin, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very Thank you. much indeed for uh, taking the time to talk to us today. Happy to do it. Now, use of force is such a, a big issue at the moment, isn't it? You can call it a hot topic. Uh, it's definitely a hot topic. And, of course, what we know is we have asked our law enforcement officers, we've equipped them with a badge and a gun and with the authority of law and asked them to go out and to keep our neighborhoods safe and to protect the Constitution while they do so. And, of course, we know that while they're providing the safety and security, sometimes that requires the use of force. Um, this is not very often. Less than 2% of all encounters with the public involve the threat of force or the use of force, and deadly force is even less frequent than that. But it's those encounters, of course, that provide the most tension with right. our community, and that's why we really need to focus and better understand use of force um, and think through some of these difficult issues. As you say, it's an extremely emotive uh, issue, isn't it? Now, yes. So a lot of the concentration at the moment is from de-escalation, is to try and not get to that point, if, if you like. So tell us a little bit about that. Absolutely. Well, one of the things that we know is that the use of force is often used in very stressful situations that happen so rapidly and often co-occurring with alcohol or drugs um, of the suspects or mental health issues. And so anything we can do to slow these situations down right. will buy the officer time and and likely reduce injury to the suspect and reduce injury to the officer. So that's where de-escalation training, those ideas start. Right. And from there, how we do that, those core principles and training, um, and how they're executed in policies and procedures, that's really the core issues for law enforcement to talk about today. Okay. Now, talking about core issues to talk uh, about, I know you're uh, hosting one of the ICP perspective uh, uh, debates on, on this particular issue. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah, we're really excited about it. There's a number of panels that are going to be on the use of force um, here at the conference, but one of the ones that I'm chairing tomorrow morning um, is with our own president, uh, Terry right. Cunningham, will be there, uh, along with um, other guests, including Vanita Gupta, who is the Assistant Attorney General from the Department of Justice, wow. uh, Civil Rights Division, and we also have Commissioner Hawks, uh, from the Ontario Provincial Police, and then finally Chief Moss from uh, Ferguson uh, Police Department right. here in the U.S. And so these individuals are going to be talking about really important issues, including use of force, uh, but also what we do with those videos, how we communicate with our public, right. um, all of these complicated uh, things that a law enforcement is talking about right now. And so I encourage people to come to this panel and, and hear our experts, but also be heard from the audience as well. Okay. Now, well, tell us a little bit about some of the other things maybe that the IACP is working on on this issue. Right, great. Well, the ICP has really been very influential in this conversation nationally right. on use of force. They've been working directly with the FBI on some of their work to create this national database. And I know that the Department of Justice just announced yesterday that they'll be looking uh, forward in 2017 to having creating a national database because some of the issues we know are just about definitions and measurement and how all of our law enforcement agencies report the use of force. So this would be a really uh, big advantage. The other thing the IACP is doing is actively engaging in research. Now we have a new research center. In that center, we'll be doing research for law enforcement to look at issues surrounding the use of force. And then finally, uh, we have a series of meetings that have been happening with the top law enforcement executives from all the organizations uh, around uh, this country. And that meeting and those series of meetings is to really reach consensus around some model policies on use of force. My final question is the symposium concept that brings together all the key leaders. Sounds like a, a, a very interesting one. Can you talk a little uh, to that for us? Sure. Well, the first meeting that they had was in April. And the idea is really, again, to build consensus and to have this cross-collaboration across these 17 different organizations right. at the highest levels of our profession and our field so that these individuals are communicating with one another and reaching consensus around core issues, uh, particularly about the use of force, but then other law enforcement issues as well. And so they'll be continuing this work and on Monday meeting again and hoping to build some more consensus around difficult topics facing our profession. Marvellous. Well, Robin, thanks ever so much indeed. Thank uh, you. Pleasure to talk about it this week. Thank yes. you very much. Yes, thank you so much for your time.